Okay, so now we will be solving another example no? on uh, the transfer function, the, the transitional mechanical system transfer function. So we have here the problem, find the transfer function of x1 of s, f of s, no? so over f of s. No? So we are going to find here the, uh, the transfer function. No? So if, as, you, as you notice, we have a spring over here. So, we need to consider spring also. So, in order to solve for this one, we need to put an imaginary mass here so that we will have two masses that we are going to move. So, we just write first our transfer function. No? So, this is only applicable if our system is like this one. No? So, in which we, we don't have any uh, fixed point. No? Fixed point for our springs because a spring must have two fixed points. No? Okay. So, we will have this one as... Okay. So this one will be our five kilogram. Then we have this one. So we just put here an imaginary uh, mo. Huh? So this will be our four newton second meter. And this will be our x one of t. So this will be x2 of t this is one here our f of t okay f of t and this one will be 5 newton meter and this will be our 5 kilograms no okay so from this one if you now we are going to use the impedances no? the impedance is this one okay okay where is that one this one is impedances so this is very important because we do not need to have the the uh the the Laplace transform of our of our um, uh, of our given or of our derived differential equation which uh, coming from this force displacement relationship so we need just to have this one because the impedance is already the transfer function in terms of f uh, in terms of x of s or the terms of the displacement so what we are going to do now is just first to have our um, our we have our FVD, no? FVD. So for the five kilograms, we will consider our five kilogram, which is the one in motion. Okay. So for this one, we have here a the the uh, reactants, no? Or the reaction. So this will be a uh, four newton. So this will be F X one of T. And for the mass, we have uh, for the mass we have um, M. So M sub 1, maybe I will just uh, qualify this one. No? Okay, so this will be M T squared X of 1 of T over DT squared. And for our FV, uh, FVX, this will be the derivative, no? DX1 of T over DT. So these are all in terms of the first displacement. Then we have also here a a another no a reaction no which is coming from this um this uh, mass. So this will be equal to um uh, this will be equal to k no k x two of s. So I believe this one is k also no but in terms of x one of s k. Then for this one, if you're considering our mo no mo so fbd at mo okay so we have here this one huh? which is um the which is all about um xo no x2 so k okay, x2 of t this is t not s so that one then we have also the reaction of the this displacement of the x of 1 so that's key x of 1 of t and we have also the force itself which is f of t now if we are going to get the to have an equation of this one they are first fvd no so if we are to get the equation we'll have a we have a an equation which is will be like this one so m d squared x of t dt plus fv um, d x1 of t dt plus key x1 of t 
is equal to k so equating the ano the uh, equating the forces no k x2 of t so that will be our um, differential equation for this one we will have this one as k x2 of t is equal to k x1 of t plus f of t okay so if we are going to get d um laplace transfer of both sides of the equation so we could now have this one as terms of the impedances no so we will use this one no it's here and we will use these impedances here you know? so for uh, the spring we will have k for we use damper dampers so have fv of s and for mass is m s squared no okay so we just get here the um laplace transform so for this one this is m so we have that one as m squared m s squared okay then this will be just be equal to x1 of s for this one f v s x1 of s so this this is coming from the table so you have k1 x1 of s is equal to k x2 of s so putting the value now here for our m this will be 5 s squared x1 of s plus for our fb this is 4 no 4 s x1 of s for our um k that will be 5 no 5 x1 of s is equal to 5 x2 of s no so um transferring our x of 2 of s to the right side of the equation and also grouping this one factoring out our x of 1 we will have 5 s squared plus 4 s plus um, 5 okay so it's 5 let's just see here so 5 x1 of s minus 5 x2 of s is equal to 0 so this will be our equation 1 now for our equation 2 so again equation 2 we will consider the transfer the, the, the DE you know, different equation of the FBD at MO so we will have that one so we will just write it in another color no? so this is equal to um, X2 X2 of oh no, K sorry for that K it's happening to my uh, my variables no? I will Okay, kx2 of s is equal to this is x of t not of s no, we're not yet getting the transfer function this will be k x1 of s no, plus f of s so getting the transfer function so k will just be k x2 of s is equal to k x1 of s so this is just t and t because we are not getting the transfer function first no? so i am um, uh, confusing now between my Laplace transform and my x uh, my x of t no? so this will be f of s okay so transferring our x of 1 of s to the side equation we have negative k x1 of s plus k x2 of s is equal to f of s no so this will be our equation 2 Okay, then we're going to equate equation 1 and 2, or not equate, but add, no? Add equation 1 to 2, or the other way around, so it's just the same. So, first, before we add our 2, we need to substitute here the value of k. So this is negative 5, x1 of s, plus 5, x2 of s, then we don't have a value for our f, no? This f of s. Okay. So we have 5s squared plus 4s plus 5x1 of s minus 5x2 of s is equal to 0. So then for x1, so we have negative, so this is for equation 2, 5x1 of s plus 5 x2 of s is equal to f of s so we just cancel this one no so we will have 
Uh, when we combine now, so this will, this will become 5s squared plus 4s plus 5 minus 5. So 5 then minus 5. x1 of s is equal to f of s. Okay, so factor uh, simplifying, so this is equal to 0. So we have 5s squared plus 4s x1 of s is equal to f of s. So solving for x1 of s over f1, uh, f of s, so we will have 1 over, so factoring out our s. Okay, forgot to put here parentheses. So that will become s. Okay, so just write this one table, you know. That will not be confused with our s and 5. So this will be equal to s times 5s plus 4. Okay. It is not one. Okay. So this is now our transfer function, or we could have this one on a black diagram. So this will be our f of s this will be our black so this will be 1 over s times 5 s plus 4 this is our x1 of s okay so this right here is our answer okay so i hope understand something in this video and as always enjoy learning